And welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Hockey and Skate. V's this week on Shaw TV. I'm your host, Fraser Rogers, joined by number 91 of your Penticton V's, Chris Gary. And Chris, first of all, the win streak uh, as we film this is at 20 games, coming off a big win against the Trail Smoke Eaters. You had a couple points in that game, but overall, what makes it so special for a team just to rattle off that many wins in a row? You know, obviously it's pretty special to get 20 in a row, but I think uh, the most important thing is, you know, we're playing consistent. Like every night, we're not... Uh, we're not coming out, you know, playing bad hockey. We're coming out playing great hockey. So I think that's probably the most special thing is, you know, us coming out as guys playing really well every night. So I've asked guys about this. When did you th realize the streak was getting uh, to a big level, I should say, a big deal, winning 20 in a row? When, what mark for you was, okay, we got something cooking here? I don't know. I, I don't really look into it too much. I mean, like, honestly, like, going into every game, you, you want to win. But you don't really look into the streaks too much. I mean, it, I guess I noticed around 10 or 11, I was just like, this is, you know, getting the te high teens, low teens, so it was, you know, pretty special, but I, I was trying not to look into it too much. Now, you played on a championship team at the major midget level with the Red Deer Chiefs, winning a national championship. I know it's different levels, but do you see similarities with that team character-wise or group-wise compared to the Bs and what they're doing right now? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we were really tight back in midgets, so it's a lot of the same stuff. I mean, if you want to be a championship team, you got to be you got to be brothers, so it's a lot of similarities for sure. Chris, you played in the Alberta Junior Hockey League uh, last couple years before coming here this year. Is there similarities? Is there some outstanding differences, or do you find it a little bit of the same, or was there adjustment for you coming here to start the year? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's similar because it's the same level of hockey, but I mean, there's a little bit more speed in the BCHL, a little bit more depth for sure. I mean, you look at the third, fourth line, and it's, uh, you know, they could play hockey. You know? Not that in the age they don't, but it's just a little bit uh, weaker as third, fourth line go out. But, yeah, I mean, there's top guys in both leagues, but, I mean, like I said, it's a little bit faster for sure. Now, you've off to a really good start, 17 points and 19 games for you. Had a couple points that win against Trail 7-1 on uh, your last game. Do you feel like you're getting those points now after maybe getting a little bit snake bitten early on in the year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, bad a little bit of injuries off the start, you know, a little slow. But, I mean, new league, a little bit of transition. So, yeah, it's nice to get a couple points. And, I mean, the, the wins are the biggest thing. But, yeah, to help out the team is definitely, uh, you know, it's good for me. Now, you're a veteran of Junior A hockey. You've done it before. The annual teddy bear toss is around the corner on November 18th for this team. All the guys always want to be that guy that scores that goal, that send the bears and stuffed animals on the ice. Now, if you are the guy, do you have something planned or something you'll look to do celebration-wise when the bears come raining down? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really looked into it too much, but we'll see if it happens. Uh, maybe I'll do something special for the fans. I don't know. We'll see. Is it fun to play in games like that, though, when you have that kind of initiative, a charity aspect, and the big bear toss? Uh, you've been in a couple, obviously, already. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty special, I mean, going into it. it you kind of have uh, that in the back of your mind, you know, like there's a teddy bear toss, but, I mean, you just go out there and play, and whatever happens, happens. We'll see if Chris Gary can make the fur fly. That's November 18th. Uh, partners with Salvation Army and Shaw TV, the teddy bear toss. For another episode of Ultimate Hockey and Skate, V's This Week, I'm Fraser Rogers.